This edition of Mac Voices is supported by Take Control Books, the answers you need now from leading experts. Find out just how much Apple's set-top box can do in Take Control of Apple TV by Josh Centers. Whether you're a casual user or want to dig deep, Josh has you covered. Get it now at TakeControlBooks.com. Hi, I'm Chuck Joyner. Mac Voices is in San Francisco for Macworld iWorld 2014. That means it's time for us to have a conversation with our friend Paul Kafasis of Rogue Amoeba. Paul, it's great to see you as always. Good to see you as well, Chuck. You just keep showing up here. Every other year we've, uh, we exhibit here and uh, it's been good for us. We've gotten a lot of foot traffic this year, so we're pretty happy to be here, absolutely. Well, I know I've tried to come by a couple times and it's, it's always been stacked up, so you must be doing something right. Uh, yeah. It's, uh, Probably, probably my winning personality that's attracting all these people, but the, the software doesn't hurt, I think. No doubt, no doubt. It's, and Well, that's another business you're in, but we won't talk about that. So, so what are we showing this year? Uh, the biggest thing we're showing is Fission 2, which is uh, the newest update to our audio editor, uh, Fission. And so we've been showing that off to people, and uh, we've got a, we get a lot of people here who have used our products before. We've been around for over a decade, uh, but often they have an older version, and we can get them to at least see the newest version and upgrade, and that's, that's pretty good for us. And then we also get new people who have never used the software, and so yeah, we're showing, the, showing off Fission 2 and then uh, Audio Hijack Pro and Airfoil as well. And, and as with all things Rogue Amoeba, you take them and you just evolve them and you make them better. And you don't just pile features on that nobody needs, you pile features on that people can actually use. And that's one of the things I love about your product. They feel lean, but they're fully featured. And Fission 2 is definitely uh, one that we've always focused on keeping lean. Lean is a great word for it uh, because there's a lot of audio editors out there that are very powerful, uh, very robust, but very difficult to use. And Fission is one where uh, Apple has had this thing uh, a thousand no's for every yes recently, talking about their development. And I won't say that we you know, have gone that far, but it's something where we say no to a whole lot of features that people might want because we're trying to keep this as simple and as lean as possible. Uh, and I think it's worked pretty well so far. So what are some what are some of the new features in the new lean Fission 2? Right. So we didn't we didn't just start taking out features. That's not a that's not a way to do it. Uh, Fission 2 lets you uh, Fission lets you edit audio quickly and losslessly. So the goal is just to do simple editing operations as quickly as possible with no quality loss. Uh, Fission 2 added several features, uh, batch conversion. So if you have a pile of files that you want to turn into a different format, if you have a whole bunch of AIF files and you want them to be MP3 files, you can throw them at Fission and in about 20 seconds you can click it and tell it what you want to do, come back a few minutes later and you'll have a pile of MP3 files without needing to do it one at a time. Uh, exporting to other formats, so again, converting between formats. Uh, any file that you open can be saved to any other format that we support. So save an MP3 into AAC format, or save uh, a FLAC file into MP3 format. Uh, those, are, those are two of the biggest ones. Uh, the interface was updated to be a lot uh, cleaner and simpler to use, hopefully. Um, th those are the big ones, definitely working with different audio formats and making it as easy as possible to do that. Paul, who would you say that Fission is for? Because a lot of, we all have GarageBand, but GarageBand can be, frankly, quite intimidating if you just want to start learning to play around with, with audio. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's a, a very astute point, is that GarageBand is on every Mac, but using it, as a, using it as an editor is not a simple thing to do. So if you have some audio that you just want to trim a little bit of the audio out or split it into multiple files, join some files together, uh, that's what Fission is going to help you do in just a few minutes, instead of launching GarageBand, waiting a few minutes for it to be ready for you, and then trying to figure out how to use it. Uh, so definitely people who are looking for really uh, the most common audio editing tasks as quickly as possible, that's who Fission's built for. And of course, it's as with all audio editors, it's very visual, but it's back to that lean, clean visual thing that I don't have a lot of controls cluttering up things. I just have what I'm most likely to need and then the rest I go look for. Yeah, so it starts with the, the waveform. That's the, the biggest thing you see, the audio waveform. And then uh, you know the buttons, the controls that you have are things like splitting the file up or cutting some audio out or cropping audio so you make a selection and crop everything else out. Uh, but yeah, there's not a thousand knobs on there to, uh, to fiddle with. Uh, there's just exactly what you're going to be able to do and what you need. Can you show us a little bit of it? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, we've got Fission right here, and uh, this is just a file we've got open. And right here, we, uh, we were doing this earlier for someone, so we faded the audio in. Uh, at the end, you can make a selection and fade the audio out. Uh, if you say, you know what, this right here is actually a little bit uh, of audio that we don't want, so we made a selection. We can zoom in and make sure we've got the exact audio we want and adjust that selection. 
So if we went a little too far, we bring it back. And now I can remove that, it's just gonna be gone. Uh, I can split right here, we've got some silence here, so I can go split. And now when I save this, I'm actually gonna get two different files. So if I've got a long recording and it actually needs to be multiple segments, I can add split points all across here. And now I'm gonna get five different files just with about five clicks. Save that out, it's gonna save as multiple files. Uh, like I said, it's really the, the most important editing task that people have. Uh, if you need a more powerful editor, GarageBand's out there, there's some other ones. Uh, but if you need something simple that will do the most important task, that's what Fission's built to do. And, and it's also great, I know I've used Fission to edit audio that I've taken from the podcast for different uses. And it's, it's just quick, it's easy. You know, yes, I know how to use the other things, but sometimes you don't even want to wait for them to launch. Exactly. You just fire off Fission and go. Yeah, that's, that's definitely what we're going for. Uh, price point on Fission 2? Uh, Fission is $32. Uh, if you have Fission 1, it's a $15 upgrade. And uh, yeah, 32 bucks. And the website, of course, is? Rogamoeba.com. Now, I'm, I'm going to tread in dangerous waters here, because right. I simply just don't remember. Is Fission 2 in the App Store, or is it just website? Yes. Fission 2 is one of our two applications in the Mac App Store as well. So you can, download a, you can download a trial right from our site, and then try it out, purchase it online through our store, or purchase, th purchase through the App Store. Either one is uh, going to get you the same product. And the same license to put it on as many Macs as I want? Yep, absolutely. Very nice, as always. It's always, and um, I'm sure there are some other interesting things coming up from Rogue Amoeba. Anything I can pry out of you? Uh, audio Hijack is probably our most famous product. lets you record any audio. And uh, we're working on a big update to that. It's coming soon. Uh, we're not showing it off here just yet. Maybe we should have. Uh, uh, I know so I've seen some other products that aren't available yet but are being shown off. But uh, that's going to be our biggest update, hopefully sometime in 2014. To your credit, I think, if you're not showing it, if it's not ready, don't show it. And that's not a bad thing. Yeah, absolutely. But hopefully people will stay tuned for it in uh, the coming months. Paul, it's great to see you as always. You too, Chuck. Next, next year? Uh, we exhibit every other year, so we've done the even years. Uh, I'll probably be here next year uh, checking it out, but uh, we'll be exhibiting uh, probably two years from now. Well, but you'll be here. Yep. Good. <laughs> Folks, we'll have more from Macworld iWorld 2014 in San Francisco. I'm Chuck Joyner. This is Mac Voices. Camera work by John Zakowski of Azimuth Productions Video San Francisco at videosanfrancisco.com. Visit macvoices.com for links, show notes, to subscribe, to connect with Chuck on Twitter, app.net, Google+, and Facebook. Subscribe to our weekly newsletter, the Mac Voices Dispatch, to stay up to date with all the latest Mac Voices news from our front page or at macvoices.com slash newsletter. Advertising and sponsorships handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com.